You don't design your CV like a paper seller. No. And don't do as if you want to learn shoemaker. Please. <music>
they want to check that is this a decent person that we're giving our job because every job out there they are trying as much as possible to ensure that they bring people that can really help their work mm -hmm. not someone that nullifies the things that is needed in, in the work field or imagine you are someone that be using it for effort or you are, you are you are saying so many things about nigeria negatively and all that or you have even known you have even said something bad about the profession and you forgot that you posted something like that probably five years ago so what your employer will want to check is that what has this person posted they never you know that sometimes some of us were very born again when we were looking for a job so you'd have forgotten that you posted some things for years so they'll go back to the initial you started your social media for example someone like me when i wanted to get a job what they what um they did was that they asked me for my social media and what are they looking for what do you think although i was told by one of one of the worker place what kind of place right now actually and they were like they wanted to see what i've been posted posting on my what i've posted on my social media they wanted to know if this kind of person is someone that can really represent the company well even and you can see you know, and you're like, ah, what is what's their business about my social media? They are really concerned about it. Because you cannot be a miscreant in the society. And then you now want to behave, and then you want to present in wear suit, in wear tie, without character. Nobody's looking for someone that's that that is not well trained, or even if you are well trained, that is that is not good enough to represent a company. So you must be very conscious about your social media handles and whatever you post on it. The third point is that you should always check for websites. Where you can get job for, from, we have the like of Vuzu. You can check Job Seeker. You can check um, the like of um, LinkedIn. You can also go to LinkedIn, majorly, and check for where you can get um, job. And also you can check Joberman. You can get job in Joberman. But majorly, majorly, sometimes you need to do your own field work by yourself. Where you go to submit your CV in organization, and then from there. So, what next should you do after now? Okay, so another thing you can do is probably you find a mentor that been in the field your field before, or probably you're looking at working in um, a law firm, for example. So you need a lawyer to put you through, and some of them have experience, some of them have gone ahead of you. So you can always try to ask them questions: how they're able to navigate life, go about whatever they were doing, and all that. And like that, they are good. So go. So finding a mentor is good, but ensure that you're not finding a mentor that will not tell you the truth. Though. You have to have one that, that will criticize and say your CV is, is, is not it. Then person advises you, you go back to work on it, show the person and like that. So after now, this is what you should do next. Get an additional skill. Because for someone like me, because I've learned, um, because I studied mass communication in school, it doesn't mean I cannot learn skill like probably tailoring, addressing and all that. I can weave, thank God. <laughs> but then, you should ensure that you get soft skills that you can do because sometimes it's not everybody that will get white collar job immediately. That's for people that really want to get job. There are some people that they don't even want that. They want to be their own a boss. So some people cannot do yes sir for that person. So that one is part of life too. It's not everybody that will do yes my yes sir. So for people that really want to work in the company and all that, ensure that you get additional skills because if you are in an organization that you need, probably you are working. And then they need someone that can do something. Maybe outside, probably decoration, event planning and decoration. And you're good at it. It means that you'll be paid additionally for the job you're doing for the company because it's not part of what they employed you for. So it's very, very important that you get additional skills. Some of you can learn addressing, um, tailoring, shoemaker. Someone like me, I, I, I would love to <laughs> learn mechanic. I don't know why. <laughs> I love that. I would, let, I would love to learn it though because... I'm really, although I don't have a car, but I'm believing that I have a car one day. So I just like the fire. I just like, and it's not my own kind of mechanic will not be the one that's lying down the floor. No, we will upgrade Nigeria very soon. So, like I said, get a skill. Get a skill. So, this final point is very, very important. And it is the overall thing that you should do. Overall thing that you should do. And this point is that you should let God guide you. Let God guide you. Because sometimes God wants to direct us in a particular uh, music or a particular field, sending us as agents into that field to change the narrative of that field. But we, in our own mind, are like, ah, this is not what I studied now. This is not where I'm supposed to be. So all you need to do is ask, ask God, go back to him and let him direct you and guide you on what he really wants you to do. Because as far as we are, cons we are concerned, we will all answer to God one day. 
one day, whether we believe it or not, whether you like it or not, we will give account of how we have used our life. Some of us, God might have given us um, events, discovery, scientific discovery to change Nigeria, and then he places us or puts you in a position where you can manifest the gifts he has given you, and then you try to change your career. So you must be very careful and let God be the one to guide you. And I believe that God is the one directing and guiding you. You got no problem. Yeah, so you don't have any problem at all. But ensure that you are not outside of God's view. Probably we'll talk one or two times one or two times about knowing God's view for your life. But for now, ensure that you are not outside his view. Keep asking him and keep praying. Prayer is the key. You. There's nobody that I believe that don't pray. And if you don't pray, I don't know what you would do. But ensure that you are not out of prayer, you are not out of God's presence. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying by. I remain Kenadura. See you in my next video. Bye.